So I will present a, a first prototype by Werner Helmich for VPRO. It's in an early stage of development, and we just wanted to give you a very short little sneak preview. Um, what is the archive of the future? With Sound and Vision, the new institute and a VPRO team that includes a historian, a media whizman, a digital designer and an artist, we've been working on a project that aims to use AI artificial intelligence to open up new ways to look at the soon to be 20 year archive of Backlight, a pioneering international TV series on future affairs. VPRO Backlight airs more or less weekly since 2002 and looks for traces of the future in the world of today. It uses in-depth research and cinematic storytelling to bring compelling stories on themes like sustainability, technology and identity, both analytical and human stories from all corners of the world. The program is widely used by students and teachers in secondary schools in the Netherlands and is often quoted in academic education and research. I am a documentary filmmaker and I had the pleasure to direct about 30 of those roughly 500 backlight episodes over the years. At the occasion of 20 years of global reporting on the future, I took the initiative to launch a new interactive archive for our amazingly active viewers and educational users. The idea is to dig up a new strict structure and to create new relevant ways to access this rich audiovisual collection by finding new connections and pathways that are meaningful for today. The key question is, can we maybe see the future more clearly by looking at what we are coming from? It's also for me an interesting question uh, for the field of journalism as a whole. Technology has advanced immensely since we started, so we want to use AI to enrich metadata, connecting not only episodes, but short segments within the episodes as well, all using AI. This video by developer designer Werner Helmich gives an impression of the search options in the first prototype. You can play it. First of all, the episodes have been manually assigned to one primary thematic bin with a specific color. Search options on location, speakers and tags have been manually added in Airtable and show instant connections between different episodes throughout the years. A secondary access organizes the entire collection on a 20 year timeline. Mind you, it is the first prototype, the design look and feel will probably still change quite a bit and metadata extracted by AI will only be added in the next phase. We are currently training AI for visual speech text recognition and on the entire collection of about 225,000 yeah, minutes. <laughs> Having said that, let's take a look at the tremendous work Werner at Sudox has already done uh, with some stills. So to give go a little bit more in detail, the next slide, color clouds of thematic groups of episodes are the basic setting for the homepage. They give a quick impression of the amount and availability of content in each of the 20 thematic chapters of the collection, as each episode has been assigned to one main theme and color. So it's 20 years and 20 themes, kind of on two axes. The secondary themes have also been added as additional tags, which enable the discovery of cross episode connections and new pathways, because the color clouds constantly regroup visually on the basis of closeness of the data in the underlying Airtable. For example, looking for closely related content links between migration and religion, these two episodes appear to be most closely connected in terms of content. Users can access the episodes by clicking on the thumbnail and watch it entirely or explore related content. Or click on the timeline option to find thematically related content throughout the 20 years of production. As I said, it's a first step towards a new prototype in which we will add AI extracted metadata and allow for thematic connections one layer deeper within each broadcast, allowing, for example, to collect all different excerpts of one country or one speaker who has revisited the series throughout the years. The users have been our starting point and they are students, teachers, professors and academics, but also tens of thousands of viewers that constitute our active and lively core community. Their stories will show up as they actively use the archive for their own purposes and make their own stories interacting with the collection in new ways. We can't wait to see what new stories they will tell about their futures. 
And last but not least, the project is not only online, it also includes an immersive installation by artist and information designer Richard Feigen, which will provide an interactive experience based on artificial intelligence, showing its strengths, wittiness, but also its stupidity. This installation is aimed at a young audience and looks critically at the workings of AI by opening the black box of the algorithms and showing how AI thinks at the new institute in 2022. It will be coming to a theater near you as well, because this installation will also be made available in a smaller traveling format. The first funds have been secured yesterday. Thank you, partners. Thank you all for our, your time and attention and hope to see it coming together.